Good morning. I know I'm wearing the same outfit as I did yesterday with the Sigma. You gotta hire somebody to do your laundry or something. All right, so we're gonna be reading today the exact same passage. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and bend down here. The exact same passage that we read yesterday because remember, we talked about good readers. When they make inferences, they are making more than one inference when they read. It's not just one thing that you can make an inference on. You should be making multiple inferences and painting this picture in your mind as you're reading. So let's go over the steps of making an inference before we read. So first we have, let me figure out where I can go. Read the passage, read the question, find the relevant clues, figure out what those clues have in common, group them together, and then make your inference. So let's go ahead and read this passage, take home test trouble again. All right, Shan hung her backpack in her locker and settled into her seat. She rubbed her eyes and let out a big yawn as Mr. Kranz entered the room. She struggled to keep her eyes open as Mr. Kranz droned on with attendance and lunch choices. After the morning routine, he walked to the front of the room and began math class. Good morning, young mathematicians. I hope your take-home test was a great addition to your evening. Hopefully it didn't subtract too much of your time, Mr. Krantz said with a snicker. When the words take-home test left Mr. Krantz's lips, Shannon's eyes widened. She started to panic. Shannon frantically dug through her math folder, but it was stuffed with doodles, notes, home to her parents, and unfinished worksheets from other subjects. Finally, she found the take-home test folded up in her social studies notebook. Now, remember, young scholars, Mr. Kranz continued, your name must be leg legal legibly written, printed, at the top of the page to receive credit. When I call your row, come place your completed test in the folder on my desk. Shannon was in the last row and was really scrambling. She looked over at James. However, when James realized what Shannon was doing, he flipped his test over. Then Shannon turned toward her friend, Monica. Hey, Monica, have I told you that your hair looks really great today? Shannon said with a look of desperation on her face. Sorry, Shannon, I don't wanna get in trouble. Besides, Mr. Kranz is calling our row next. All right, so step one was read the passage. Step two is read your question. So today we're gonna to be making a new inference. Our inference today is Oops, let's shrink this down. Did Shannon complete the take-home test? Do we think Shannon completed the take-home test? All right, so did Shannon complete her take-home test? I don't know, what do you think? A lot of times at this point in our step two, we go ahead and make our inference. Like I'm gonna say, no, she probably didn't but we can't go on straight from one to two to five. We have to go back to step three and figure out our clues that are going to prove that. So I'm gonna move this over to the side a bit while you figure out what our clues are. All right, so let's look at some clues. I'll make this just a tiny bit bigger so we can see it. All right, so I'm gonna to go to the third paragraph. When the words take home test left, Mr. Kranz's lips, Shannon's eyes widen. So I'm going to say that that's probably a clue. So eyes widened. Let's see what else it says. She, um, she started to panic. Shannon frantically dug through her math folder, but it was stuffed with doodles, notes home to her parents, and unfinished worksheets from other subjects. So I'm going to say she started to panic. Her book bag had notes home to parents. I'm gonna guess that she never gave those notes to her parents if they were still in her book bag. So book bag had notes to parents and other blank worksheets. Um, let's see. Finally, she found the take-home test folded up in her social studies notebook. Now remember, young scholars, Mr. Kranz continued, your name must be legibly written at the top of the page to receive credit. When I call your row, come and place your completed test in the folder on my desk. Shannon was in the last row and was really scrambling. So I'm gonna put scrambling here. 
that's a, a word that I feel like is powerful, is relevant to this. Um, let's see, my throat and she was really scrambling. She looked over at James. However, when James realized what Shannon was doing, he flipped his test over. So James flipped his test over. James flipped his test over. This one has a lot of clues in it. And then um, Shannon turned toward her friend Monica. Hey Monica, have I told you that your hair looks really great today? Shannon said with a look of desperation on her face. So she complimented Monica, complimented Monica. She had a look of desperation on her face. And then Monica said, sorry, Shannon, I don't wanna get in trouble. Besides, Mr. Krantz is calling our row next. So Monica said she didn't want to get in trouble. All right, so now I've got to figure out, so that was my step three. I read the text, I read the question. I'm gonna delete this passage here. I read the text, I read the question. I found all sorts of relevant details today. Now I've got to try to group these clues together. Some of them I might be able to group, some of them I might not, and that's okay. So I have her eyes widened, started to panic, book bag had notes of parents and other blank worksheets. Scrambled, they use words like scrambling. Uh, James flipped his test over, she complimented Megan, she had a look of desperation. Monica said she didn't want to get in trouble. So right away I see this eyes widened and started to panic and a look of de desperation. Those are all things that you might do if you like forgot something. So if I was like driving to school and I realized I forgot my iPad where I record my things, I might have like, oh no, and I'm panicking and then like desperately calling my husband like, hey, can you come to New Haven and drop off my iPad for me? And, or call this go like, hey, I'm really late, I forgot my iPad, I gotta turn around. And, these are all things that you do if you forgot something. So things you do, things you do when you forgot something important. Okay, now let's look at our other clues. James slipped his test over Monica. She complimented Monica. Um, Monica said she didn't want to get in trouble and her book bag had, had notes to parents and other blank sheets. This James slipped his test over and Monica said she didn't want to get in trouble. Those are both things that people say, things people do when someone's trying to cheat. I've been I've been that person who someone's trying to cheat off of. I've seen it in my classroom lots of time. And I've seen people like put their paper over or they put another piece of paper over so that they, when they think someone's looking at their test, you know you do get in trouble when you cheat. So Monica might say that because she's trying to cheat. So things people do when others try to cheat. And then, so I've used these two clues. Now what, oh, I'll show you in the video actually. All right, so then I have compliment Monica, look of desperation, scrambling. So these two things are maybe something that you might do if like you're, when you compliment someone, you're like, have I ever told you you have the most beautiful eyes? Okay, what do you want? And this look of desperation, desperation is like, please, please. So this um, look of desperation, I have it in two places, but also, well, those, those two things are when you're trying to get someone, so you're trying to persuade someone. And I'm actually not gonna include the look of desperation, I'm just gonna, the compliment trying to persuade someone. All right, so I've got two clues here, book bag, head notes and parents and other blank worksheets and scrambling. Those were relevant, but I don't feel like they really fit with anything. So that's okay that I don't have them matched up. 
So now what I need to do is I need to answer my question. So I have read the passage, I've read the question, I found my relevant details, I figured out what my clues have in common, and now I need to make my inference, and I need to do so using the race strategy. Did Shannon complete her take home test? I need to restate it using I think or I believe. So I believe Shannon did not complete her take home test. Complete her take home test. So there's my reset and my answer. Now I need to cite. I've got all sorts of information here I could use. So I need to figure out which one I think proves the most that she didn't do it. So I have things you do when you forgot something important, trying to persuade someone, things people do when others are trying to cheat. I think this would be a really good one, but I'm gonna go with things you do when you forgot something important. So I'm gonna say the text says, let's see, her eyes widened, she started to panic, and I'm not gonna put, well I am. The text says, comma, quote, her eyes widened, her eyes widened. Now I'm not copying the whole sentence, so I'm gonna go ahead and close those quotation marks and put a comma. She started to panic, new quotation marks. She started to panic. And she had a look of desperation, comma, and quotation marks. She had a look of desperation when her teacher mentioned the test. So let's see what I've got so far. I believe Shannon did not complete her take home test. There's my restate and my answer. The text says her eyes widened, she started to panic, and she had a look of desperation when her teacher mentioned the test. Now notice I put a couple of quotation marks in here because this came from three different places, so I put quotation marks around each of the different things that I pulled because they came from three different places. So there's my site. Now I need to explain. Why do, why do these things, her eyes widen, she started to panic, and she had a lack, a look of desperation, tell me she didn't do her test? Well, that's what this is. My blue that I wrote, things you do when you forgot something important, all of those things are things you do when you forgot something important. So for my explain, I would say all of these things she did are things someone does when they forgot something important. And I'm going to go one further, one step further, and say, and her test, her take home test, was important. All right, so here is my answer. So I believe Shannon did not complete her take home test. There's my restate and my answer. The text says her eyes widened, she started to panic, and she had a look of desperation when her teacher mentioned the test. There's my sight. All of these things she did are things someone does when they forgot something important, and her take home test was important. So there's my explain. I explained why these three things, she started to panic, she had a look of desperation, and her eyes widened, why those prove they didn't do her test. Those are things people do when they forgot something important. All right, so there's your answer. You're gonna have the same passage today in your assignment that you did yesterday. Um, it's just gonna be a new question. So let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, see you later. Bye.